Actually, can I talk about Dells before you go to oh, sh- good yeah, Dells? Because I never Dells. actually talk about yeah. Dells because you immediately start talking well, about the actually, thing. I have I have really bad news, Matt. Yep. Um, Blizzard have uh, they finally uh, oh. they've they've went woke. They've ruined it. This is the end. But they went woke to Dragonflight. No, Michael. no, they have hot fixed the breath timer to be longer in underwater delves, Matt. As of an hour ago. That was can't believe this. That was warranted. I'm furious. That was warranted. No, Matt. We need something to be angry about. No, that's okay, gotcha. I actually that's, I haven't done an underwater one yet. I think it was fine, but there's like I could definitely see you're trying to fight a load of mobs and then you're yeah. forced to reposition to a bubble. Uh, in the same way, they also hot fixed out the, the the spore bits. You know the things that chase you and explode you. They now die. Yes. Whereas they didn't die before, and I immediately thought we actually talked about this in uh, our guild Discord. Me and Leon were talking about it, being like, well. You know, he said something like in Shadowlands, this would be changed in, you know, the next major patch. And I was like, no, in Shadowlands, this wouldn't have been changed. And we would have gotten a blue bo- a blue post titled, you know, Inherent Friction in Game Mechanic Design. Because they were a massive pain in the ass. The spore bits, for those who haven't done it, they basically are these, like, invincible, like, not like, respawning mobs that, f- like, follow you around and move around the area. And once you hit their radius, they start to, their health starts to drain. Mm. And they do a swirly. When they hit zero, they explode and deal damage, plenty of damage, knock back and everything else, and they would respawn. So if you're fighting a boss and there's three spore bits orbiting around, oh cool! You just had chasing things trying to kill you, and they would like throw you off the edge and everything to your death or to have to climb back up and stuff like that. So they n- noticed people were not liking that, and we didn't like it on beta, obviously. Yeah. But they noticed people were liking it live and went, just fix that, just change it. Just hot fix that out. Just Click. Yeah. Delete. Push. Yeah. So nothing can go wrong. Exactly. So this is another version of that where I felt myself uh, dying. Not dying. Sorry. I felt myself. No, I actually I did die once. The only time I've died in a delve on live so far was because I didn't realize I was out of breath. And do you know why? Yeah. Because for the for the most of beta, I was playing a druid and just was travel uh. forming, so I never had to, <laughs> I never had to breathe. So the first time I had to breathe, I actually noticed I died. I was like, oh shit, what the hell. So that'll be doubled from 45 seconds to 90 seconds, which will be way happier for those like boss fights. Because obviously the point is you have to breathe during the boss fights. That's part of the mechanics. But a little bit little bit more actual time between is very, very nice. Very nice. So Dells in general, and I am very impressed with them. I'm very impressed with the variety in them because I played quite yes. a lot of them on beta. And even I'm seeing variants I never saw on beta, which just literally I didn't see them because I skipped it or whatever because they change every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I just assumed those were weekly. No, they change huh. every day. They, they rotate variants, and there's some of them of three, some of them of four, and I think it is general. Generally excellent. Generally excellent. I think it's fantastic, uh, because it'll obviously, eventually, we'll get a little bit bored of them, and there's sometimes there's ones that are really easy and some that are complete nightmares. I was impressed with early war fronts and islands, too. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm saying from a different perspective. I'm saying I'm impressed with them because I thought they were dog shit on beta for the longest time. And then I thought they were getting better. And I was like, okay, I can see what they're going with this. Maybe they won't be so bad. And when I'm doing them on live, I'm like, oh no, the the general balance and mob placement changes they've made in the last couple of months on beta. Or last like two months on beta. The last month or so maybe from I did a lot of them actually. Yeah. Uh, and then the new variants they added. Excellent. Like there's one today. The Well, today for you at least. Uh, in the Skittering Breach because I thought the Skittering Breach is really quick I did it yesterday in like four minutes let's go back in blast it because it's really like short four? yeah oh someone like god eight, you're nine. gaming yeah and I was like okay I can blast this because I can just run in pull everything and yeah. prop, I, pop abomination and they'll die um, but it was a Shadow Realm version where I had to destroy Shadow Totems but it wasn't run up and kill the totem no I had an extra action button ability that was a light driven burst shot me forward and destroyed any shadows on the way and it recharged really fast every like second and a half or so so I just went dashing around Mm. and I had to dash in a circle around the shadow totems to break their invincible shield and then be able to attack them so I was dashing around hitting mobs trying to bring mobs with me trying to not get mobs to despawn or to like tag one and have it cast at me from halfway across the instance but there are also these like light tornadoes that knock you up so and give you a slow fall so you can light dash into them it re- re- refills one of your light dashes and then you have a slow fall so 
if you want to, I'm not saying you can do it because there's totems along the way you have to kill. But if you wanted to go to the end of the thing, you hit a light tornado and then just dash the whole way to the end. And it's like little fun like mechanics like that that I think are really yeah. good to play with. Literally just, oh, today I get the light dash one. Now I will say there's a problem with that one, which is you're in the shadow realm and your screen's dim and you can't see shit. Not in a darkness obscures your vision in like the dark flame cleft, because that's a game mechanic. This is just, we've applied a purple visual effect yeah. that hurts your eyes. So a little bit of that, but generally speaking, I think it is, the Dells are really good. Like, way better than I thought they would be. We'll see how they scale difficulty-wise. So I'm interested, because if, if yeah. they successfully get that difficulty, then I think we're in a really good spot. Yeah, people are going to immediately go, well, these seem boring at the start, because as soon as you have any semblance of gear, you just walk through them and yeah. destroy everything. You don't really uh, mess with the bosses. or like Bosses don't really have time to do mechanics or anything. But the boss mechanics all actually feel quite nice, especially in how you can individually sort them because the scaring breach I did yesterday was the one with the big void boss at the end and there's spiders that channel on him and they make him I think it's, it's either damage reduction or immunity I can't remember which but while they're channeling on on him they have a big shield they have like fuck all health but a massive shield so yeah. I'm a DK I grip them interrupts their like channel pulls them to me I hit them they die problem solved and it's that little bit of oh I have a displacement I can solve this without having to brute force it. But then also, shield, which means if you're a, um, who's the other one? A warrior and evoker. Yeah. If you're a warrior and evoker, you can just shatter and throw, or an evoker can unravel the shield and do a bunch of damage. You're like, oh, look at that. You've done a bit of, you can stand in that channel. So, I just assumed it was a targeted channel. I didn't know you could stand in it to stop it. That's mm. also crazy. Things like that. Levels of cooking are... Yeah. 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 There. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of these like really fun little uh, fun little things going on that I think is... For a lot of people who don't want to pl play World of Warcraft in Dungeons, like because of the time uh, constraint or like the kind of everything that, Delves will be great. And like, I don't think we'll like many of us even see that until people have played the game for a couple months ago. Oh wait, I get to play. I get to just play the game anytime I want. And like have gameplay mechanics. In Class. time, will dials be like islands? Pull the instance and AOE it down. Um. So depends on how those delve mechanics are tuned. It, de it depends on. Uh, mostly it depends mods, on if you can do it. Yeah. Because there's a lot of disruptive mechanics. By design, there's a lot of disruptive mechanics. Um. You can kind of do that now, but the the goal is that once you have the gear to do that at eight, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Then you can do the optional harder ones. <clears throat> so Definitely, I'm keen to see what uh, Zakvir. Zakvir, yes. Zakvir the thirteenth. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Keen yeah. to see what that is. Mm -hmm.